Hold this for a second? Yeah. to this. It's not bad. <gasps> not bad? Oh my gosh. Sorry, guys. Must have been something I ate. <laughs> <laughs> something you ate. Yeah, you know, I, I noticed something back there in the van. WWWTMI. What? Way, way too much information. Speaking oh. of information, I know why I'm here, but are you guys winners too? And exactly what does that mean and how does that work? <laughs> If I could have your attention, please, I think I can answer all of your questions. First of all, hello. Hi. <laughs> and on behalf of Winfrey, the new film's international digital download service, welcome. My name is Miss Maureen, and I'm the house manager. You may also recognize me from the winner's notification download. Well, first of all, let's welcome you all. Uh, Charles, I hear that you're interested in uh, technology and computers. A little. Okay, and Johnny, you're a college athlete? Yes, ma'am. Vincent, pre-med, yes? Absolutely. All right, Lola, have you decided on your masters yet? Not yet. Maggie, how's your fashion line coming along? Fantastic, you should check it out. And Jenna, I'm so glad you could get time off your teaching job to be with us. Well, as you can see, we've all researched you thoroughly as a prerequisite to your being invited to this beach house. I'm here to make sure everything during your prize winning stay runs smoothly. As all expense paid prize winners, each of you is entitled to your run of the house. Anything you want from the fridge, freezer, bar. Access to all the games, toys, pool, fire pit, and 40 feet of the best beachfront property the United States has to offer for the next seven days. Two rules. One, you all have to share in the prize. If one of you goes home early, you all have to go home early. And two, no ocean swimming after dark. So anything you want to know about the house, ask me. Anything you want to know about the beach, ask Joe, the lifeguard. You'll find him on the beach from sunrise to sundown at the lifeguard shack. Those are the rules. Any questions? Great. Well, room assignments are on the board. All right. I say let's stash all of our stuff in our rooms, hit up the hot tub and the liquor cabinet. Let's get this party started, shall we? I'm in. Had me at liquor cabinet. Hells of the motherfucking yeah! We can do this. Wow. Okay, so I haven't decided which bikini I want to wear yet. Do you mean there's options? Of course. Ooh, I like this purple one. On me or on you? Really? Yeah, these are my designs. Uh, these are all like samples. So I figured it'd be a perfect time to test them out. Yeah. But I think you left your steamer trunk in the hallway. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll get it later. Dude, look, it's the girl's bedroom. You want to watch? What? You can see everything. It's Charlie, you're such a pervert, man. <laughs> so do you want to watch or not? I'm down. Maybe. Depends who's getting undressed. All right, ladies. Let's strip down and suit up. <laughs> oh, we'll give it a few minutes and it'll be all of them. There you go. Hmm. Wait, before you take anything else off. What's up? You know how on those reality shows they have like hidden cameras all over? I have a feeling about that tech art. He might have come in here and snuck a camera somewhere. You know, he absolutely was the first one in the house. Yeah. But I don't know about you, but I'm not about to be recorded without my knowledge. Mm -hmm. Check out this app on my phone. It recognizes remote camera frequencies as if it were the receiver. Oh yeah, if there's a camera in here, it'll pick it up. What are they doing? Who cares? Let me see if I can. Oh, what was that? <gasps> really? There's a camera in here. Oh, oh, shh. Shh. Okay, okay. And it's on right now. Those perverts are watching us right now. Yeah. Dude, that Lola girl, man, she looks so... But if we report it, we might all have to go home. Oh, no, 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 that's not happening. We just got here. Okay, 
Okay. First, detection, then revenge. Okay. Mm -hmm. I can work mm -hmm. with that. Mm -hmm. You know what? They're watching. Let's give them something to watch and talk about. Music, please. Okay. Oh. Look at everything just bouncing. It's, oh, it's just like having clouds. Beautiful. Yeah, man. Jeez. Damn. Hey, Hypno Boy, transfixation lad, you in there? Hey, problem is I'm the same Just way. so you know, if you're talking about Jenna, I'm gonna have to kill you. No, I'm more of a Maggie type, man. No, oh, no. What the fuck oh. happened? Uh-oh, um, you think they knew that we were watching them? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure. There's a big fuck you from her right there. This is not good, gentlemen. I mean, luckily, I can rewind this and we could, I could replay everything, but you guys probably don't want to be in the room because, <laughs> I mean, if you do, that's fine. I really don't want to be in the I room. I can always use an extra hand. Uh, I will t gladly leave the room. I've been practicing these you new techniques. You want to leave, you Charlie? Can, no, you, you can stay. You want some alone time? Rub one out. Which one? Maggie, the brunette. Hmm. Good taste. But you know, there's not a bad apple in that whole bunch there, buddy. It's so frustrating. I, I don't think she even knows I exist. Well, then you have to make sure she does. Wait, no offense. You think I'm going to take romantic advice from an old lifeguard? Oh, nice. <laughs> I'll answer that in two parts. Number one, I'm hung like a orangutan. Hey, big guy, you got enough air down there? <laughs> Number two, all this talk about how men think that women think that size doesn't matter, it's BS, man. I mean, look at me. I'm an okay looking guy. I mean, I got a pretty good physique, natural tan and everything, but all I do is sit up there in that tower and wait for them to come to me. If I don't mind saying so myself, I have saved my fair share of relationships because when I'm not up in that tower, I'm a marriage counselor in Santa Monica. Dr. Joe, the lifeguard marriage counselor McKay, at your service. You're kidding, right? About which part? The marriage counseling part? No, about the part getting more sex than a man can handle in a lifetime. It's true, man. It's true. But I'll be honest with you, it's not enough that you want them. They have to pick you. So how do we make that happen here? OK, now listen up, because I'm only going to tell you this once, all right? I want you to go down to the pier get a candle and then tonight I want you to stand outside of her bedroom window not too close mind you yeah don't want to creep her out are you sure about this just stand outside of her window okay with your lit candle selfless in your vigil through rain or shine
too. I know. Mm. Uh, well, I'm gonna turn in. I will see you in the morning. Ladies, good night. Good night. What about your jacket? Keep it. So I can recognize you next time I see you. Mind if I join you? Of course, get in. Oh, this is one of the perks of the job. Next to meeting nice new people like you. So what exactly do you do? Oh, I'm a lot of different things. Uh, house manager, sometimes cook, yoga instructor, uh, tour guide, friend if someone ever needs one. I'd like to try the yoga if I can. 7 a.m. out here tomorrow morning. Uh oh, and when's the second class? If anyone would know second class, it'd be you. Nice. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> that was a big splash. <laughs> no fears. I do like foreplay, especially if he knows what he's doing. Class. <laughs> okay, so I have a confession to make. I haven't actually done it. You've got to be kidding me. I know, I'm a nasty little teaser girl, but I was raised old fashioned, so yeah, I'm a virgin and I'm okay with that, but I do everything else. Not really everything. <laughs> so you're waiting for the honeymoon? No, nothing like that. When I meet the right guy, I'll know it. What about you, Lola? Lover? Boyfriend, ex-husband, ex-murderer. I've actually never been in love. I I don't even know what love feels like. Miss Maureen? Oh, just Maureen. Um, let's just say that love and I are old and dear friends. But there's nothing quite like the feeling of being in love or, or giving to someone or the high of being in love? I guess, I don't have a clue. <laughs> Trust yourself, you'll know. Well, I guess I'm gonna call it a night or take a long walk on the beach. I haven't decided yet. Mm. Yeah, well, bedtime for me. And then yoga at the ass crack of dawn. <sighs> me too. Thanks for the advice, Mom. Come out. Come out. It's okay. Sorry if I creeped you out. Um, I was, I was looking at Maggie. She's so beautiful. And, well, now, you. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with looking. Have you tried telling her? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I could never do that. Well, never say never. I think you can man up quite nicely if given the chance. Could you hand me my robe on your way up? Yeah. That's your robe? The blue one.
Uh-huh. I'm just gonna... It's you. I thought I'd seen all I was gonna see of you tonight. What are you doing out here? <sighs> Couldn't sleep. Why not? I was thinking about you. Oh. Jenna, Jenna. <laughs> wherefore art thou? With love's light wings. These stony limits cannot hold the love out. <laughs> Wilt thou leave me so? Unsatisfied. And what satisfaction canst thou have tonight? Well, he didn't write it like this, but uh, <laughs> Shakespeare, he would say, come down to me. Um, yeah, give me a minute. Come on, I got you. I'll catch you. Are you sure? Yeah, come down. Okay. Piece of cake. Ready? Ready. Ready? Go. <laughs> Was that catch me or crotch me? Crotch me, got it. I kind of like it. <laughs> Wait. Oh, you like that? Wait. Mm. Shh, shh, stop. Somebody's Ooh. coming. Somebody's coming. <laughs> what do you have to say for yourself? Thank you, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, rogue sharks are not a real thing. Like, they're just people get mistaken for seals all the time. That's why shark attacks Seriously? occur. Seriously? What are you doing lounging around for? I need your help. First of all, I'm not lounging around. I'm cooling down after my yoga workout. Okay, you caught me. I'm icing my cooch. Trying to see if it'll ever work again. I think I slit something in half. I need to work on my... Downward dog, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, okay, help me up. Help me up. No, not you. All right, you're done. What do you need my help with? Well, Lolo was jogging on the beach, and she found a baby seal in distress. She went and got Joe the lifeguard, and he called a vet. We grab the door? Yeah. Really nice guy. He took the seal to the Marine Mammal Institute, and now Lola wants to throw a benefit party to help raise money to heal the seal. How'd I do? Not bad. Party? Hell yeah, I'm in. Well, Maggie's in, so am I. You were already in. Really? Yep. I'm thinking we can do it here. Out here? Yeah, yeah, I'm seeing. A live band, maybe a couple hundred people, cocktails, a rave. Oh, yeah, this is gonna be good. I mean, there is a whole stipulation about the try not to break anything rule, but I'm sure we can talk that over with Maureen. So you've done this before? Oh, yeah, yeah, it's just like a runway show without the models, less bitching involved. And who knows what else I can wrangle up by Friday night. By the way, I decided the parts on Friday. Eee, yay! <laughs> not you. Uh, excuse me. 
You got a quick second? Um, sure. What's up? Nice to meet you, man. I'm Andy West. Friends call me Andy West Coast. It's a little joke. I'm a talent agent. It's literally my job. Go around scouting people, look for fresh faces like yourself. My card. Yeah? Yeah. I'm sure you hear this all the time, but you, my friend, you've got the face for film and TV. So, so what if I was interested? Do you have any headshots? No, what's that, a drink? <laughs> You're funny, buddy. Going up to the bartender being like, hey, bartender, let me get a little headshot on the rocks. No, 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 but seriously, seriously. Uh, they're just pictures, man. Usually done by a professional. You got those? I don't. I... Look, here's what I'm gonna do, man. I'm gonna get my guy on this. He's gonna take care of you, all right? Just do me a favor. Just be here tomorrow, same place, same time. Sure. Awesome. Do me a favor, right? Wear something a little fancier. White shirt. Okay. I, I, hold up. There might be the commission, man. Gotta take this tomorrow, right? Yeah, all right. yeah, yeah. Uh huh? Selfless in your vigil. Selfless through rain or shine. Through rain or shine. Through rain or shine. Morning, sailors. Hi. Some rainstorm we had last night, huh? What you doing? Well, you've all been such good boys. I decided to make you my special, irresistible, almost instant chocolate pudding. Really? Mm-hmm. Very nice of you. Oh, no, it's nothing. And you guys really deserve it. What you got there? Some free samples for? Absolutely not. Not until it's finished. <laughs> Are those dolphins? Oh, right out there. I love dolphins. Huh? No, I think so. I think I really see them. I see a seagull. Oh, pudding. Can I have some? You know, actually, it's just for the boys. Oh, really? Yeah, it's special guy pudding. Guy pudding? Mm -hmm. I've never heard of that. You know, I was wondering about some of those yoga poses. You mind showing me some? Sure. Awesome. And now let's talk about the pudding. Eat up, boys. Mmm. Mm. Some of the best pudding I've ever eaten. The best. No, oh, thanks. What's the uh, special ingredient? What do you mean? What makes it taste so good? Well, my mom taught me how to make it, and she always said that the special ingredient was love. Oh, love. That's nice, isn't it? Well, I'll catch you guys later, and uh, I hope it all comes out all right. I don't know what you meant by that. Women. <laughs> They always say things that don't even make sense, so. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Mm. It's like an orgasm in your mouth. So good.
revenge is sweet. Especially when it's pudding. <laughs> Battle stations? Battle stations! <laughs> so she's on the phone? Yep. Okay. Well, it's only a matter of time. Okay. <laughs> now we wait. What are you two up to? Nothing. Really? Uh-huh. Out with it or I'll tickle it out of you. <laughs> Double dog dare you. Really? Uh-huh. Really? No, no, no! Lola wanted to get back at the boys for their little camera gags, so she planted their camera in their own toilet. I modified it. Ew, why? Ew is right, but I use gloves. <laughs> Sanitary. Okay, so here's the best part. Then I may or may not have fed them chocolate pudding with laxative. Oh, oh, oh my god! Yes. It's only a matter of time before we'll be able to see and hear the results of our little experiment. <laughs> guys, guys, you want to go play some sand football, huh? Yeah, maybe we can get the girls to join. Oh! <gasps> no! No! Must have been something he ate. You guys have the weakest stomachs. you think we're gonna get for that? Uh, Shitload? Literally! <laughs> <laughs> Bitches must die. Group meeting. Group meeting. What the hell is that thing? Uh, this is, um, my special little surveillance camera. I found it in our bathroom. And in my other hand, I have hard evidence that we were poisoned by that bitch, witch, whatever. Fished out of the trash myself. The proof, gentlemen, is in the pudding. So they hid your little, your little creeper cam on us. Then they took these laxatives and stuck them in our delicious chocolate pudding. You know, it was actually pretty funny. I mean... Yeah, it's probably on the web by now. If I know that Lola, damn her. If she wants to declare war, and so be it. Dude, I doubt she put it on the internet. And come on, man, you need to lighten up. Funny is funny. You, you hid the damn spy cam in their room when you started this. Well, just the same. Look, we need to make them feel a lot guiltier about this. And maybe I can get guilt sex out of Maggie. Or, I mean, I'll, I'll even settle for a video that I can view on my, on my own in my spare time. Or I'll take a, even a single picture. I'm a pretty reasonable guy. Jenna! I'm so sorry. Yeah, not half as sorry as we all are. That was wicked. I had no idea they were gonna do it. Had I known, I would have warned you. I can't take your call. Please leave me your info. I'll call you back. Ciao. You have to admit it was kind of funny. No. No, I don't have to. <laughs> you make great noises. Yeah. Come on. Let's take a look. And what are you three up to now? Well, to be honest, we all feel really bad about what happened, 
especially Jenna, since we deliberately kept her out of it. So what we're up to is a sorry we gave you diarrhea makeup dinner. It's Thai food. Uh, no, the guys aren't gonna believe you, and I'm not sure if I believe you either after last night's little shit show. Please, please, please accept our apology. I accept your apology. Mm. Only speaking for myself, though, the other guys, you're gonna have to work on yourselves. Okay. All right? something honest and sincere about that guy. Mm. Not to mention the movie star good looks. It's a part of the package, I guess. Is Lola, I don't know what love is, taking an interest in the opposite sex? All I said was that he's a nice guy and that's all there is to it. Mm -hmm. Mm. You know, I've been around long enough to know that when somebody says, and that's all there is to it, that's not all there is to it. What you want? Nobody's stopping you. There it is. Lola likes Johnny. Lola likes Johnny. Do not stop. I don't want him to hear you. So you do like him. Do not. Do not. Whatever. Do too. Do <laughs> too. Uh, liar, liar, hot little bikini thong pants on fire. <laughs> <laughs> well, he is kind of gorgeous. <laughs> okay. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to reel him in. Tonight, before we eat, you're gonna go put on some notice me makeup, and I have a top of my bag that combined with your tits will knock his eyes out. Okay. Literally. All right. Yay. Can I trust you two to behave while I'm gone? Of course. You try it then. See you a bit. <laughs> what are you doing now? Nothing. Just another little secret ingredient. Just for the boys. What is it this time? Just a harmless gastroerotic terrorism. Gastroerotic? Mm-hmm. For someone who doesn't do it, you seem to have a purse full of party favors. Didn't we promise? Mm. You promised. Technicality. Dinner's ready. That's really good. Oh, no, Charlie. Um, Actually, honey, that seat's taken. Well, I don't know. We had assigned seating and that I had to make reservations. Charlie, could you please just come sit by me today? Johnny. Eartha Johnny. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Thank yeah. you. Mm-hmm. Mm. So, what, what is it? It's a Asian fusion Muay Thai crop. Isn't that a mixed martial art? Very funny. So how do we know we can even trust you? Yeah, how do we know? I mean, it all came out all right last time, didn't it? Hey, <laughs> as my father the doctor used to say, no poo-poo talk at dinner. Guys, guys, look. We're really, really sorry. <laughs> Maggie spent all day in the kitchen today working away so hard preparing this authentic meal to get back into your good graces. So the least we can do is just eat up. Oh, here. Try the special sauce. It really helps bring out the flavor. So what's coming up for tonight? After we eat, we're going to go to an event that the party planners have lined up. They're having a band, and we can check it out before our benefit party. All right, let's go clubbing, posse. Okay, uh, cool. <laughs> so, I've obviously never used that word ever in my life, nor will I ever use it again. I swear, I just... I'm sorry, guys. This is private party. You're not able to get inside. Have a good night, guys. Have a good night. Excuse me. Sorry. Sorry. Hey, excuse me. Let me handle this, ladies. I don't think so. Hi. <laughs> What's Hi. up? Hi, we're looking for the big guy. Oh, that would be me. How can I help you tonight, guys? You look familiar. Have we met? We're friends with Miss Maureen. You must be talking about my brother. Brother from another mother, huh? Sweet Maureen. Do you remember that song? I no. think you're talking about Sweet Melissa. There's a difference, but you're 
Listen to me. I know the difference. Do you want to make something out of it? I'm capturing this on video right now, so if you try I to do- I don't care. So, Marine. <laughs> oh, sweet Marine. Of course, guys. Everybody, you can go inside, take a look around. You can help yourself, enjoy your life. You can stay as long as you want, everybody. All right. Everybody except him. <laughs> What we just went through? Tell me about it. We were just hitchhiking on the side of the road with our rock solid cocks out. Nobody would pick us up. Nobody except that weird old lady up the street from the assisted living place. Hi, oh. boys. Oh, do you need a ride? Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> thanks for the offer, but it doesn't look like you have any room in there, so it. Oh, no, no, no. Problem. We can sit on your laps. What? We can sit on all of your laps. Oh my god. Whoa. No. no. Whoa. Guys, get out of here. Oh, no. What the f Crazy. Oh, Abel. Lauren, Abel. Lauren, they're headed for the beach. We ran. We ran to the beach. We thought we got rid of them. Oh, boys, could you help me, please? I, I really can't see the, the rails with oh. this light. Do you know the eyes? Oh, where's oh. go? Whoa. Oh. Oh, oh, this is a nice hey. banister. Yeah. Oh. Uh, oh, not a rail, lady, not a rail. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Lord, don't take me now. Yeah, oh. 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 Make sure she's oh. safe, Charlie. Oh. Oh. You're, you're, good. you're good. Oh, thanks oh. for giving me a hand. Oh, oh. That just uh, oh you're welcome. Boys. You're welcome. That just happened. Well, that's a sweet old lady, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Well, she didn't grab your dick, so shut the hell up! <laughs> are you gonna stay mad at me all night? Or are we gonna put this thing to good use? It's not very funny, though. She almost ripped our dicks off. I wasn't trying to be funny. I was trying to be practical. practical. But if you don't want to make love, then maybe we can use it as a hat rack? Mm -hmm. Horseshoes? Maybe a little bit of ring toss? Enough with the dick jokes. Let's get it. <laughs> God, what's with all the racket? Hey, everybody. Good morning. Today, you are in for a special treat. I am making my famous smiley face whipped cream candied pancakes with hot maple syrup. Mm. How big of a stack can you take? Oh. Uh, after last mm. night's little dick experiment, or should I say big dick experiment, 
We're never eating anything you guys make ever again. Uh. Yeah, you poked fun at us for the last time. Uh, fine. More for us. I don't know about you guys, but all that dancing last night really worked up my appetite. I'll take a double stack. Pancake me. You coming right up? Yeah, I'd hate to see all that food go to waste. I think I'll have a couple stacks as well. Of course you will. I will. I'll oh show you how to eat. We'll use the same plate. No, no, we will not. It's okay. Too late. Oh, darling. Was it something you ate or? Oh, God, I feel awful. Well, not to butt in, but I'm assuming you're sexually active. It's not like I sleep around. Well, is your period late or missing in action? I don't think it's. I just think you might want to try one of these. You know how to? I've never had to before, if that's what you're asking. Well, instructions are on the packet. Let me know if I can do anything. Live it up with my boys in our American beach house. Whoa, let me sing. Hey, this is Annie West. Sorry I can't take your call. Please leave me your info and I'll call you back. Ciao. You going through something right now? You at a turning point? Hey. Goodbye, Joe. Bye, honey. Bye. Mwah. Mwah. Call me from Paris. Oh, I will. Promise? Yes. Okay. All right. Have a safe flight, honey. Bye bye. Damn. I, I guess you can say I'm at a turning point. You, you must be Joe the lifeguard. Johnny, right? Yeah. How'd you, how'd you know that? Nice to meet you. Oh, you know, I read up on all the winners. <laughs> I like to know who's on my beach. So what's going on? No, I'm not sure. I mean, everything's just happening so fast and more different than I've ever, I would have ever expected. Well, then you're just like everybody else. Well, I mean, you're from around here. Did, did people just come up to you on the beach and, you know, uh, give you a chance to get into movies and TV? Is it a guy or a girl? It was a guy. Did he touch your penis with? Any part of his body? Whoa, whoa, no, 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 okay, no absolutely Okay, good, I just not. wanted to get that out of the way. Well, that's good. Listen, I guess it happens, you know, sometimes. And if that business is something that you're interested in, then I think you should go do it. Thank you, Joe. Hey, you're welcome. Hey, good luck with that. Thank you. Let me know what happens. It wasn't supposed to be like this. And it happened so long ago, and he wasn't the one. Well, he must have been good for something. I don't think that's what we need right now. And the worst part is things were going so great with Vincent. He would have been that one in a million guy and when I tell him, it'll ruin everything. Maybe don't tell him? We can make it like your little secret. I could never be that immoral and unethical. I could never do that to a guy that I care about. What are you gonna do about the baby? I could never be that person either. I'm a modern girl, but... You don't have to justify yourself to anybody. Just do what's good for you. Maybe what you and Vincent have is strong enough. No, it's not. It's not. I can't. I can't do it to him. I can't. I... <laughs> What she needs is time. Hey, Johnny. Hey, Lola. 
Nice suit. Thank you. So I'm about to get in the hot tub. Would you care to join me? I guess so. I don't want to twist your arm. Sorry, don't take it the wrong way, but I guess not a lot of us are just having the greatest day. What have you heard? Nothing. I've heard nothing from nobody. That's the problem. So? Come on in. I don't usually go for the jock type, but I think in your situation I'll make an exception. Well, aren't you a sweetheart? Yeah. You know, I'm not just some highly successful college athlete. You know, I have hopes and feelings and dreams too, and even a degree. What exactly did you study? Well, I was a phys ed major, and then one day I had a moment of clarity, you could say, as I was walking by the theater building. Change it around a little bit. Oh, I thought you didn't go for the hunk type. <laughs> like I said, I'm willing to make an exception. You didn't put anything in the water, did you? I mean, after the last <laughs> couple times, I gotta ask. Nope, just me. All right, then. So, a horse walks into a bar, and the bartender says, why the long face? <laughs> Get it? Yeah, I guess I needed that. I guess I'm just at a crossroads right now, and where I'm from, it's, it's Flatland, as far as the eye can see, in every direction. I've never even seen the ocean before until a week ago. And now I'm swimming in it. And just a few days ago, a complete stranger walked up to me and gave me a chance to live my dreams. And how, how often does that happen? Of course, he hasn't called or done shit since then, but you know, I, I can already see that it's a much bigger world than I ever thought. And I have more choices than I ever imagined. I think I'm gonna move here. Impulsive, wouldn't you say? Maybe, but I don't got anything tying me down back home. And I'm already here now. I don't know what to say. You don't say anything if you don't want to. Yeah? You made yourself hard to find. And you found me anyway. What does that say? It says a lot, it says a lot actually. I have kind of been avoiding you, and we do need to talk. <laughs> this is all moving way too fast for me, and I can't. I, I, I need, it needs to stop. I can't. Okay. Uh, we're we're moving too fast. I mean, okay, so we so we slow down. I mean, I'm okay with that. We can just no, no, no. You're not understanding me. I don't want to slow it down. I need. I think I made a huge mistake, and I need to break it off. I. In fact, I don't think I'm gonna be here tomorrow. I'm leaving. What? No. You can't leave. If you leave, it's over for us. It's over for everybody, everybody in the house. Do you really wanna do that? You can't be serious. We've got a great thing going, you and I. Right? I'll build my world around you. I can't just let you walk out of my life, no. Goodbye, Vincent. I hope I never see your face again. I know, I know where I'm not wanted. I'm, I'm just gonna leave. No, you stay. I'm gonna go. not so secret admirers back again. Yeah, I know. It's kind of cute. Are 
you at least a little charmed by his show of affection? What do you want me to do? Give him a pity BJ just because he's holding a candle? No one's ever held a candle for me before. Well, if you think it's so sweet, why don't you go give him a pity blow job for the both of us? However, if I did do it, it would be the blow job he'd jack off to for the rest of his life. <laughs> I would be on his mental wall of shame. The nasty girl who swallowed his whole load at the crazy beach house. He'd remember me forever. Sorry, Charlie. Not gonna happen. Oh. Hi. Hmm. I'll be back later. Have fun. I plan to. Mm -hmm. Hi. Hey. What are you doing here? I came to pick you up. You wanna go to the beach? I mean... Yeah, okay. Let's go. Oh, okay. Sure. Could you use a beer? Yeah. Please and thank you. So what's happening? I don't know. I'm just going to eat at that. Hey, what? You know, Jenna's thinking about leaving tomorrow. Any idea why? No, what, what's the deal, man? Um, I mean, I can get Lola to go talk to her, but what's going on? Jenna, you want to come down from up there? Look, we both know that your being up there isn't going to solve anything in your life. So come down, or I'm coming up. You're a really nice lady, and I appreciate you coming all the way out here in the dark where I didn't think anyone would find me <laughs> for the second time this week. But just because you did find me doesn't mean that you know me. You don't know me at all, and you don't know anything about what my life has been like. All right, that's it. I'm coming up. Look. I know you well enough to know that you love children, and you wouldn't do anything to endanger a child's life. I was just thinking things over. I broke it off with Vincent. And I don't think you're gonna like it, but I don't think that I can stay here any longer. I don't know how much more fun I can take. It happens. And hey, you don't have to make any decisions tonight. Why don't you sleep on it? Look who it is. Yeah, yeah sure. To love. Hey, fuck you. What happened to you guys? I thought you guys were on top of the world. What happened? Uh, 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 the hell do you do that? Can I get another brother? Yeah. If you really want one. Uh. Trooper. I've never seen anything like that before. Dude, why, why are you doing that? Doing what? Drinking like that. I hate beer. I hate the taste of it. I hate the t smell of it. I hate the texture. 
It's the only way I can keep it down. It's a pledge trick I learned at a college fraternity. Huh. A trick that you learned at a fraternity. You don't, you don't even look like a frat guy at all. Well, it turns out I wasn't. I put up with their nonsense, and they, uh, they blackballed me on the first round. Said I didn't fit the mold. The only thing I did get out of those guys was that stupid trick and a different sense of who I was and wasn't. Well, let's change that. New business. This meeting of the Brotherhood is now in session. I nominate Charlie as the new president. All in favor, say aye. 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 It's unanimous. Charlie is the new president of the Brotherhood. Woo! Speech! <laughs> Speech! Speech! Beverage first, and then speech. <laughs> I would like to thank the Brotherhood for recognizing my leadership potential. I also want to say that this honor may be the nicest thing anyone's ever done for me. To Brotherhood. 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 Oh. Shit, do you think he's all right? Yeah, I think the grass cushion is fall. You know, that's, that's probably the best he's ever been. No. Now that's a nice gesture. Oh my god, this fucker's heavy. You know what, dude? You're a pretty decent guy. The Brotherhood never leaves a man behind. All right, Charlie. <laughs> Time for bed. <laughs> Today's a big day. And tonight's the big night. Party! What, what? Oh, later, after yoga, we need to go make sure everything's going smoothly for the benefit party. And I want to call the vet and check on little Stanley. Actually, today we have a bigger problem than that. Jenna has broken things off with Vincent. <sighs> OMG, but they're so good together. Last night at the beach, she was talking about going home early. And if she leaves the beach house, then you all have to go home. You can't let her leave like this. It ruins it for her and for the rest of us. I can't stop her. Only you guys can, and you might not have a lot of time. I know your mind's already made up on this, but can we talk? I have made up my mind. I don't really think there's much you can say to make me change it. Well, that's what friends are for. You and Benson made such a powerful connection. Don't you think you at least owe it to him to tell the truth? Um, I love him so much, but I can't do that to him. He's got his whole life planned out. It's not fair. You have to admit, so much has already happened this week. So many good things. And we don't want to lose that. We don't want to lose you. We're just trying to keep you from making what could be the biggest mistake of your life. In case you missed it, it's kind of already happened. I mean, this is me trying to deal with the consequences of it all. There's not always one right answer. Sit down. I'll make you some tea. You don't make a decision that's going to affect the rest of your life in the heat of the moment. Every decision we make sets into motion a powerful chain of events. Everything you've ever done and a lot of what you will do is based on these decisions and all of them lead to different possible outcomes. So I need to choose. 
You don't just have to choose, you have to choose wisely. What do you think you would do if you told him? What, like, hey, lover, I'm pregnant. It's not yours. Still want to get married and live the rest of our lives together? I can't do that to him. He <laughs> made a commitment to you. Doesn't he even deserve a chance to be a part of that? Morning. I hope I'm not interrupting. No, we're just nice PJs. Thanks, I guess. Look, I've got to be honest. I was standing in the hall. Were you spying on us again? No, 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 I didn't mean to. I, I just, I got up to take a big piss. WTMIA. WTF. Way too much information again. And, well, I heard it all, I guess. Well, then come here. You're just gonna have to be one of the girls. And we'll swear you to secrecy. I'm okay with the secrecy, but do I need to be one of the girls? Yes. It's a sisterhood. Swear it. So I'm a brother and a sister? Just promise you won't say anything to anyone. I promise. Okay, now go pee. Mind if I join you? Please. So, what brings you all the way out here? Well, I come out here every day if I can. There's something just so magical about the ocean. If you let yourself feel it, it can heal you. I'm trying to decide what I feel. I'm proud of you, you know. I'm just trying to do the right thing. You didn't have to tell us you were there. I thought about not doing the right thing, but I couldn't. You remind me a lot of someone I used to know. Who was it? My guy. So where is he? He was a career soldier, an officer. He didn't make it back from Afghanistan. I'm so sorry. You know, I loved him because he stood up for what he believed in. I see a little bit of that in you. You know, you're a good guy, Charlie. You didn't deserve to be treated the way Maggie treated you. It's confusing because I wanted her and now I feel sorry for her. You know, I guess for her anyway, I'm not the one. Well, maybe you are the one. Just like you said, not for her. Do you want to finish what you were thinking about that first night at the hot tub? Does she want me to jerk off on the drapes? <laughs> Look, you are an amazing person, and you have no idea what he's going to say. Don't you think you should give him a chance? You don't know how hard it can be. I mean... My parents never got married. I was a so-called love child, but there was never any love around in my early life. They didn't stay together. I don't even think I saw my dad any time after I was five. I guess you can say I'm a little sensitive. Wow. I had no idea. Yeah, it's not like I walk around with a sign around my neck. <laughs> well, unless you read through the lines, and then the sign says, Beautiful, intelligent, caring woman with a painful childhood spends her life taking care of other people's issue kids, hoping that the man of her dreams will walk through the door. And when he does, and it's not exactly perfect, she throws it all away and chickens out on her own happiness. Nice moves. Oh, thanks. You should take this one so you think you can dance. You think? <laughs> and what would you do? I mean, it's never really been there, never really done that. Just
drag him to the altar, try to convince him that it's his? Mm, yeah, probably. Sounds like me. The woman I've come to know would want to give her baby a chance that she didn't quite get. Two people, two parents who love her and care for her and would want to raise a family with her. I mean, don't you think you at least owe it to him to tell him the truth and let him make that decision on his own? I feel like that's what you'd want someone to do for you. Thank you, everybody, for coming tonight. We're Nylon Pink. Woo! Could we please have Lola and Maggie come join us on stage? Benefit Party, thank you all so much for coming for a great cause. Yeah. Also, I'd like to welcome Miss Maureen, who knows everyone. Yeah. Also, I'd like to thank Big Guy and the staff and crew here at the party. They are awesome. Yay. Everyone, please welcome humanitarian and veterinarian, the man who is actually healing our seal, Dr. Spencer. Yeah, doctor. Thanks, guys. Uh, unfortunately, Stanley couldn't make it tonight, but he did send this as a token of his appreciation. <laughs> All right, everyone, enjoy your night. The band is Nylon Pink. Let's get it up. Johnny, Johnny, I have been looking everywhere for you. Where have you been the past three days? You could have just called me back. No, bro, I couldn't. My phone fell in the toilet. I lost all of my contacts on the phone with the company. It was a nightmare, man. But I am seriously so glad I ran into you. Oh, uh, Charlie, this is this is Andy West. Andy West, Charlie. Yeah, Charlie, Andy West Coast, man. Nice to meet you. Uh, all right. Johnny, seriously, man, I am glad I ran into you. Remember how I had you wear that white shirt? Yeah. Well, I had my photographer come, took some pictures of you. They were great. I got you an audition, man. Well, that's amazing. How, how do I get in touch with you? No, we're going to make it easy. I'm going to get in touch with you, all right? And because of the great venue hookup, you got to dance with me one time. Excuse me, big guy. Um, the ladies with me tonight. Every song, all night long. Right, Miss Maureen? Is it true, Maureen? Well, you know I'll always hold a special place for you. But I am with this guy tonight, so if he says every song all night long, then that's it. Well, good for you, my little buddy. Give me a five. Enjoy your night. See you later. Look, just do me a favor. Have a fun time. I need you there tomorrow afternoon. Tomorrow afternoon. I'll be there. Yeah, man. No joke, no joke. Look, I don't want to ruin your buzz, all right? You got to have a great party. Um, I'll run into you in just a little bit, all right? It's going to be a good night, man. All right, man. <laughs> Take care. For a while. Yeah, we did. Hey, sorry we're late. We just had a few things that we had to kind of sort through, I guess. But uh, great party. I mean, it's perfect time for a little announcement. We're engaged. Yeah! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> nice. Yeah, dude. Good work. Congrats. Oh, Congratulations. Oh, 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 <laughs> oh my fucking god! It's so amazing! <laughs> We 
have a lot to talk about. And we have our whole lives to talk about it. Do you really want to talk about it now? You know, you spend a lot of time putting that thing in other people's faces. It's okay to get in and out. And easier without a camera in your hand. There you go. No, did something happen? No, nothing bad. I just woke up and he was gone and I can't find him. I don't know where he is. Oh, well, we haven't lost one yet. I'm sure he'll turn up. How am I this morning? Just freaking amazing. <laughs> Does anybody have any food? I looked up quite an appetite. I need carbs, bad, pizza, donuts, pancakes. <laughs> so much would work, actually. Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, you can sleep it off on the plane. Coffee? Mm -hmm. Good morning, guys. Do you know where Vincent is? Actually, yeah. You should come out here. I think this is for you. <laughs>